Welcome back to Midday. We're talking about one of my favorite things, desserts. And uh, joining us on the show today, we have Marianne Lacroix. She is a pastry chef at Romeo's Kitchen of Spirits. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And welcome to Kamloops. Thank you. Yeah, so how long have you been here? Uh, I moved at the end of August. Yeah, just this summer. This past summer. Yeah, fairly new. And so you're new to Romeo's since March, you said? Yeah, yeah that's right. Good. So you're a pastry chef. Never understand how a pastry chef can be as thin as you are, <laughs> um, but good for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so you, where did you do your training? I went to Cordon Bleu, which is a private college in Ottawa, my hometown, yeah. And French is your first language. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So pastry chef, is this something you always knew you wanted to do? Yeah, I was actually studying psychology um, for a couple of years and just had always dreamt of becoming a pastry chef. So eventually I'm just like, oh, I'm going to give it a go and I never look back. Yeah. Good for no you. No regrets. I love it. And you've been doing it since 2008 or 9, you said? Yeah, 2009. Good yeah. for you. So you've been at Romeo's for a few, uh, a few months. Yeah. And uh, today on the show, we're profiling some of the new desserts that are on the menu. Uh, I love desserts. So you've got <laughs> me captivated here. Let's talk about some of these things. Are sure. these your creations, first of all? Yes. Yeah. Nice. They'll be changing. I've just been working on them for yes. a few weeks. And within probably two weeks or so, they'll be officially in the restaurant available. On the menu. Yeah. Okay, which one do you want to start with then? Uh, we can start with the chocolate one, probably okay. my personal favorite. Yes. Um, it's a dark chocolate mousse and mm. it's on a bed of, um, it's like a hazelnut praline crunch, which is really like... We can tip oh. it up towards that camera even. Yeah, oh. perfect. Yeah, perfect. With a little uh, chocolate twill. Mm -hmm. Um, if we go like this, this gives it the best. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. So again, what is this part? This the is a chocolate cake. Yes. And here we have a coffee buttercream. Delish. And yeah, the base, I don't know if you can also see. Yeah, the base yeah. is a uh, hazelnut and milk chocolate and it's protein crunch. It's like basically like a crumbled up wafer cookie. Delicious. Yeah, the texture of it's really great. So. You know what? I find with desserts, texture is super important. Yeah, a little definitely. bit of a crunchy with smooth is so lovely. Yeah. And so all of these things are homemade. You make them from scratch. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Delish. Fun. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one in is a cheesecake. The next one, yeah, mm -hmm. is a white chocolate mm -hmm. and raspberry cheesecake. So nice. um, a little bit, yeah, on the sweet side because of the white chocolate. So I mm -hmm. paired it with some lemon crimeur, which is similar to a curd with a little bit of gelatin to set it up firmly. Right. Just to balance out that sweetness and then uh, uh, raspberry gel. Delish. Yeah. yeah. Very nice good. Nice and creamy. Nice. And then this next one here. This next one, I just have to finish this one up. Mm -hmm. It goes with some vanilla ice cream, but it's a cinnamon brown butter blondie. Mm -hmm. And the sauce is a toffee sauce and then a roasted peach, which might, you know, change with the seasons. We'll try to showcase whatever's fresh. And How do you roast a peach? Just I put right some, in the oven? Yeah, in the oven. Just a little honey and lemon juice and it takes like 20, 25 minutes. Yummy. Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to add to it here. Yeah, a little bit of ice cream. Okay. And Let me know if I can help you or I'll just sit here and watch you if you want, whatever works. Taste test. Or <laughs> I might do a taste test after we're done with this one. What is your favorite type of dessert to make? I mean, are there certain things that you like to do better than others? Um, actually, people ask me that all the time. I and bet. It's for me because I work it's the fancy stuff and it's a lot of you know mousses and yeah etc i stick to the basics at home really like yeah. cookies or yeah brownies pies sometimes i bet yeah. your friends love you you make stuff you try <laughs> yeah. stuff out and you're like here yeah i know when i was in school actually they'd send you home with all of the sure baked goods yeah. and i never wanted to eat them oh i know so but everybody else everybody would. had their turn yeah okay um, so again that's on top we don't want it to melt too quickly I'll no just stop talking <laughs> you get and to then it. this is uh brown they're brown butter bits so actually mm -hmm. um you put milk solids in some butter and it, they caramelize slowly okay. so it gives it a nice almost nutty flavor so that's how that one gets finished that a little bit gorgeous. of crunchiness yeah awesome and are we doing something more here with this yes or? so this one i will plate from scratch um, okay it's a passion fruit curd. Uh, they're going to call it, I think, Tropical Bliss on the menu. Okay. Um, but it's pretty much like a play on your traditional lemon meringue pie. Oh. Um, so this is the meringue, which is actually almost like a marshmallow fluff in this case. It's okay. very thick and sticky. So I just roast it a little bit. That is. That's like instant meringue. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. hold this. I'm gonna put this under it like this so we can sure. see it better for okay. the camera. There we go. And so next, the curd. So passion fruit. Yeah, a little bit sweeter than your lemon would be, but right. So what goes into that? Obviously, there's passion fruit. Yeah, lemon, egg yolk. Egg yolk. The, yeah, passion fruit um, juice. There's a little bit of gelatin to plate this one because normally they'd be a little bit looser, a little bit thinner. Okay. Um, sugar, obviously. 
Yeah. So you just cook it. It becomes kind of like a pudding, like yeah. the texture of a pudding. Yeah. And what's in that? This is a lime and white chocolate ganache. Okay. Mm. One thing I always notice that Romeo really reinforces, and I'm sure you're all about this too, is presentation. You guys have it down at Romeo's. You guys really put something together and make it look very palatable, uh, beautiful. Yeah. You almost don't want to eat it, but of course you're going <laughs> to, right? It's nice. Mm. I'm actually plating this. We'll have to flip it around. I'm plating it looking this way. Right. Um, so this goes, this is a lime and coconut shortbread. Oh, delicious. So just a few pieces, which would be like the crust in sure. the pie, you know? Again, nice texture, a little bit of everything. Yeah. And last is a coconut sorbet that we make in house also with some uh, liquid nitrogen. Okay. Which is fun, mm -hmm. fun to play with. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't, you can burn yourself with yeah, that. Yeah, right? pretty easily, yeah, you have yes. to be careful. And what flavor is that? This is coconut. Coconut sorbet yeah. to top it off. This looks delicious. I'm normally a chocolate fan, but I think this would be worth a go for yeah. sure. <laughs> and again, on the menu, it will be called? I think Tropical Bliss. Tropical I'm not Bliss. Sure, yeah, they're playing around with what they're going to call these. But Awesome. So hold this, that just in yeah. that spot there. We'll get a close-up of it from Fred downstairs. Thank you, Fred. Look at how good that looks. It looks delicious. So these are four of the desserts that will be coming to the menu yes. in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, Good exactly. for you. And Thank these are you. all your creations. Yes, yeah. They're Very nice. probably some of my favorite yeah. flavors and ingredients to play with, yeah. which was, I think, a, a good way to go for my first menu at Romeo's. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully everybody else. We'll think the same. Of, yeah. I don't think there's going to be a problem, to be honest. <laughs> Marianne, thank you very much for being here today. We're thank out of you. time, but I uh, really appreciate you taking the time to make some of these for us and uh, looking forward to trying one of these when I come from Romeo's <laughs> next. Thank you. Very welcome. Information is on the screen, romeoskitchen.ca, as well as the phone number, 372-5312, if you'd like to make a reservation. Yes, let's get the close-up on that. Delicious. We're back in 90 seconds. Stay with us.